Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers general. This is uh, for 29th week from 13th July to 19th July. And let us look at the first question. Name the flag which is into controversy in the United States of America subsequent to the Charleston church attack. All of you are well aware about uh, Charleston church attack where uh, nine African Americans were killed in a church and subsequently controversy arose with regard to the flying of confederate flag. You may ask what is confederate flag? Confederate flag was first hoisted during the 1861 civil war in Northern Virginia and the point here is some people in the United States of America say that confederate flag shows the culture of United States of America and some people say that it is the symbol of racism and the discussion and the contradictory views with regard to the confederate flag goes on in United States of America, right? Look into the next one. For renewable energy projects, loans will be provided by IREDA, I-R-E-D-A or otherwise it is known as I-R-E-D-A limited. It is public sector enterprise and I-R-E-D-A means Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency. Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency. I would like to tell you few points about this. It was established in the year 1987 as non-banking financial company or NBFC popularly known as and this Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency looks at developing renewable energy by giving financial assistance to renewable energy projects or green projects. And please don't forget this got Mini Ratna category 1 status recently and you may ask what is Mini Ratna? Various public sector enterprises are categorized as Maharatna, Navaratna, Mini Ratna category 1, Mini Ratna category 2. So as to give functional autonomy to the public sector enterprises. So as to give functional autonomy to the public sector enterprises, they are categorized as Maharatna, Navaratna, Mini Ratna category 1, Mini Ratna category 2 and this IREDA recently got Mini Ratna category 1 status and this is under Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Please don't forget. Right friends, MIT scientists have created a answer here is spectrometer. MIT scientists have created a spectrometer small enough to fit inside a smartphone camera that could enable the device to diagnose diseases, especially skin conditions and environment pollutants. What is meant by spectrometer? Spectrometer is nothing but which looks into the properties of spectra or properties of light. Recently, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Scientists this is the world famous institution in United States of America established in the year 1861. MIT scientists recently created a spectrometer small enough to fit into smartphone camera that could enable the device to diagnose diseases especially skin conditions as well as environmental pollutants. When this spectrometer is inserted into smartphone camera it will identify the condition of our skin as well as environmental pollutants. That means the level of pollutants in the environment and this is in the experimental stage and let us hope to get this spectrometer soon, right? Look into the next one, Kosovo declared independence from Serbia. You may ask where is Kosovo? Kosovo is in southeastern part of uh, Europe. Please uh, look into this picture. Kosovo is into southeastern part of Europe. It declared independence in February 2008. Several countries are not recognizing its independence and it declared its independence from Serbia. Serbia still says that Kosovo is the autonomous region of Serbia and please don't forget the borders of Kosovo are Montenegro on one side, Albania this side 
मैसेडोनिया एंड सर्बिया मैसेडोनिया इज टुवर्ड्स साउथ एंड साउथ ईस्टर्न पार्ट वेस्टर्न पार्ट वी हैव अल्बेनिया एंड नॉर्थ एंड नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट यू कैन से इट इज मॉन्टेनेग्रो एंड northern part as well as northeastern part it is a serbia these are the borders of kosovo it is not recognized by several countries even now right a fast moving brush fire you may ask what is brush fire please look into this picture brush fire is the fire of low growth plants or scrubs for low growth plants or scrubs when fire takes place that is known as brush fire recently a fast moving brush fire swept by desert winds resulted in several cars on fire this occurred in california state of united states of america and the answer here is united states of america right friends look into the next one ports in india handled cargo of 1043 million tons during 2014-15 ports handled 1043 million tons and this is 5.4% higher in comparison to last year in comparison to 2013-14 this is high by 5.4% ports handled 1043 million tons and it is more than 1 billion tons probably for the first time in indian ports history and there are two types of ports major ports and minor ports major ports are looked after by central government minor ports are looked after by state governments and out of this 1043 million tons major ports handled 581 million tons please don't forget major ports handled 581 million tons right friends name the country where india built jarang delaram road project this jarang delaram road project is around 218 kilometers long and it is in afghanistan as part of rebuilding afghanistan india constructed this road project and this is in afghanistan and to chabahar port through chabahar port in iran interior of afghanistan can be accessed by using this road and last time i talked about chabahar port chabahar port can become a gateway to central asia while discussing the lecture part of 28th week i discussed chabahar port can become gateway to central asia not only central asia it can access interior places in afghanistan also because 218 kilometers of road was constructed by india as part of rebuilding afghanistan and this chabahar port is in iran and at the same time please don't forget gwadar port gwadar port is in pakistan chabahar port is in iran this gwadar port is going to be built by china this gwadar kashgar economic corridor will pass through pak occupied kashmir and this gwadar port is going to be built by china and chabahar port is expected to be built by india and the distance between these two ports is around 72 kilometers please don't forget the distance between chabahar port and gwadar port is just 72 kilometers chabahar port will give access to central asia and gwadar port expected to give access to china that is part of china's silk road project please don't forget right so once gwadar port is constructed china's kashgar or western province of china will be easily accessible but india's contention is it is passing through pak occupied kashmir you can look into this map that once gwadar port is constructed it goods can reach interior china from gulf of prussia and at present china's eastern ports are accessed by traveling a circuitous route of around 10000 to 12000 kilometers please look into this picture you can easily understand the importance of gwadar port at the same time the importance of chabahar port for india right name the country where 
Sidot Real Airport was sold in auction for just ten thousand euro. This Sidot Real Airport is in Spain. It is around two hundred and thirty-five kilometers south of Madrid. It was built in the year two thousand eight. Please look into this swanky airport, and it was operated up to two thousand twelve. Subsequently, no passengers, and that airport was closed. And now it is auctioned. The auction price is just ten thousand euro. No one is there to purchase that airport. And the similar story about another airport in Spain. This is the Castello Airport. Castello Airport is also in Spain. It was constructed in the year two thousand eleven, but no operations till date because no passengers. And This is the problem with advanced economies. They spent lavishly in good times, and there are no passengers. They are closing the airports. The answer here is Spain. Name the state where 160 GPS fitted Parivartan Raths were flagged off as a campaign before the elections. As a campaign before the elections, GPS fitted. 160 Parivartan Raths were flagged off by BJP President Amit Shah recently in Bihar. The answer here is Bihar, right? Bihar is going to polls sometime later this year, right? Government nominated a committee to classify the caste names enumerated under SECC 2011. All of you are well aware, caste census were held for the first time since 1932. government has not released the caste data government has released the socio economic data but has not released caste data government says there are around 46 lakh categories of castes sub castes and clan names castes sub castes clan names there are around 46 lakh categories it is not possible to release the caste data without classifying them that is the contention of the government under these circumstances a committee was nominated headed by vice chairman of niti aayog arvind panagadiya to classify the castes subsequently it will be released right friends answer here is arvind panagadiya Look into the next one. As per the report of NCRB, what is NCRB? National Crime Records Bureau. It is under the Ministry of Home Affairs. It looks into the records of crimes. It maintains the statistics of crimes across the country. This is National Crime Records Bureau, established somewhere in 1980s under the Ministry of Home Affairs. And as per the report of NCRB. The state which tops in former suicides in 2014 is Maharashtra. Former suicides, it is 2,568 in the state of Maharashtra, as per the statistics given by National Crime Records Bureau. That is former suicides. If you add agricultural workers, total suicides in Maharashtra comes to 4,004. Total suicides in Maharashtra. If you add agricultural workers, also it comes to 4,004, and Maharashtra is followed by Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. Indian Navy is planning to decommission world's oldest aircraft carrier in 2016. World's oldest aircraft carrier is INS Virat. and it is going to be decommissioned somewhere in 2016 and there is demand from andhra pradesh government they want to convert it into a tourist place or museum right and this ins virat was commissioned in the year 1959 and it is going to be decommissioned in the year 2016 this is the oldest aircraft carrier look into the next one China has confirmed its participation for the first time in Indian International Fleet Review. Several countries are going to be participated, expressed their willingness to participate in the Indian International Fleet Review. It is going to be held in February 2016. Prime Minister of the country is going to participate in this Indian International Fleet Review. Government is holding it prestigiously. Taking it prestigiously, 
and it is going to be held in Visakhapatnam in February 2016. Right, friends, so look into the next one. Name the country where ISIS claimed attack at a marketplace in the eastern Diyala province killed at least 115 people. This eastern Diyala province is in Iraq. Right. 115 people died in the suicide attack at a marketplace. Look into the next one. Name the country where Westgate shopping mall was reopened for the first time since September 2013 when Al Shabab militants killed 67 people. Al Shabab militants belongs to Somalia and they attacked Westgate shopping mall in the year 2013. 67 people were killed in the attack and subsequently this mall was closed and reopened recently and this is in Kenya. Please don't forget it is in Nairobi, Kenya. Please look into this shopping mall, right? Second International Aeronautics Championship was held at Belarus capital Minsk. It is held in Belarus capital Minsk. And you may ask where is Belarus? Please look into this map. And Second International Aeronautics Championship was held in Minsk, Belarus. Look into the next one. NPPA has brought 39 more drugs under price control recently. Essential drugs. Essential drugs which are required for normal ailments like diabetes, blood pressure, cancer. Right? They are normally brought under price controls. Recently, 39 more drugs were brought under price control. The authority which can bring this drugs under price control is the National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority. It is the National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority and this drugs can be brought under price control based on the DPCO that is Drug Prices Control Order introduced in 1995. Please don't forget. Drug Prices Control Order was introduced in 1995. And please don't forget, National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority is under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. This is Department of Pharmaceuticals under Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. At least 3000 BSF observation posts made of mud and thatched roof will be provided with concrete structures along the 197 kilometer international border along 197 kilometer international border, 3000 mud and thatched roof posts will be converted to concrete structures because several terrorists across the border are attacking. Not only that, sometimes Pakistan army is also resorting to firing across the border. In view of this, Pakka structures are going to be built along the border with Pakistan in Jammu region. The answer here is Pakistan and these posts will be made pakka in the Jammu region of Jammu and Kashmir. Look into the next one. Amid the violent protests, Burundi is going to polls to elect its president. Burundi got its independence from Belgium in 1961. Burundi got its independence from Belgium in 1961. Burundi is into civil war. Previously, Burundi was into civil war. Around 2 and a half lakh people lost their lives in this country. Please look into this picture. Right? It is situated in the region of Great Lakes and it was into civil war previously and the president Kurunchija is contesting in the elections. As per the constitution, president cannot contest for more than two terms and he is contesting this time. The president says, I am contesting for the second time as during the first time, parliament nominated me. Two terms of president completed. As per the constitution, he cannot contest for third time, but he is contesting again. There were several protests and this elections are going to be held shortly. Look into the next question. Name the country which stated that spy drones of India was shot down. Name the country which stated that spy drone of India was shot down. 
What is meant by drone? Drone is nothing but unmanned aerial vehicle. Please look into this picture. What is drone? Drone is unmanned aerial vehicle. Recently, Pakistan stated that it shot down Indian spy drone for spying activities they contended, but India denied the allegations. Right? Answer here is Pakistan. Metis are demanding inner line permits to regulate the influx of outsiders and internal migrants. Metis are demanding inner line permits to regulate influx of outsiders and internal migrants. All of you are well aware in Northeast, influx of outsiders is the biggest problem and Metis are demanding inner line permits to prevent the influx of outsiders and Metis are the ethnic majority community in Manipur, please don't forget. Metis are the ethnic majority community in Manipur. Look into the next one, when a person is living on less than 1.25 dollars per day, as per the World Bank norms, when a person is living on less than 1.25 dollars per day, he is considered to be in extreme poverty. Answer here is 1.25. Name the place where at least 29 persons died due to the stampede at the bathing ghats during the 12 day Godavari Pushkaram. Answer here is Rajamandri in Andhra Pradesh. It is the coastal town on the banks of river Godavari and because of heavy inflow of pilgrims on the first day of Pushkaram. Pushkarams are held once in 12 years and this is a 12 day religious festival and during the first day 29 people lost their lives due to the stampede. Right friends, look into the next one. MS Viswanathan who died recently is a famous music director. MS Viswanathan born in Kerala and subsequently got fame for his direction of music in Tamil films. And the duo of Vishwanathan Ramurthy is famous as music directors in Tamil Nadu. And at the same time, he is the music director for several films made by Palachandra in Tamil as well as Telugu, right? Look into the next one. World Youth Skill Day was celebrated on July 15th. In the year 2014, it was felt there is a need for nominating a day as World Youth Skill Day. And from this year onwards, July 15th is being celebrated as World Youth Skill Day and on the same day the Prime Minister inaugurated Skill India program. Right friends, look at the next one. For keeping them under enslaved conditions, 200 Indian workers won the lawsuit of 20 million dollars. The country we are talking about is United States of America. 200 Indian workers were taken there and they were kept in subhuman conditions and subsequently they won the lawsuit of 20 million dollars considered to be the one of the highest lawsuits for such type of inhuman conditions of workers and please don't forget the country here is United States of America. Look at the next question, name the state which leads in wind energy. Tamil Nadu is the state which leads in wind energy. Tamil Nadu is producing around 7000 megawatt and roughly around 25 to 30 percent of India's total wind power, right? And in the world, China is producing the maximum wind energy, please don't forget. And with this, let us conclude questions and answers general. Please do join for questions and answers banking. Have a nice day. Thank you.